So the kit finally came in the mail for the breathe module, one of two. This is the, I want to say the cheaper version. This was only like a dollar ninety-eight shipped, and then there's the two dollar ninety-eight version is coming soon. So we've got a circuit board, a power connector, four LEDs, which I'm not going to use because instead of putting the LEDs here on the board, I'm going to solder some wires coming out of there to go to my actual underglow kit. So it looks like power will come in right here on this side from my secondary switch. So there'll be a main switch that turns the system on and then a secondary switch that decides whether it goes to this breathe module or if it goes straight to the LEDs to just be on all the time. It looks like that is the potentiometer to decide how fast or slow the breathe mod is. It looks like three 47k resistors, two 15s, and two 100s. I'll have to look up what the color code are on these to know which is which because I do not see any markings anywhere but there is a website that you can google what these little color bands mean so that I'll know if they're 15s or 100s. Looks like this is the 8050 which goes here. There's one 100k so that's got to be that. Here is the controller chip and the socket that it goes in and that will go right in the center and this will go inside of that and then it looks like we have a 4007 diode that goes there and then this guy I think is a capacitor that will go right here so not too hard. I'm gonna get this thing all soldered together and then we will go from there. So obviously this isn't gonna be much help. It's in, I wanna say Japanese? Sure. And I need to figure out if these are 15s or 100s. So I Googled resistor color code and I found digikey.com. You need to just click on five or four or six band, which these are fives. And then you start with one end and it'll only let you put it in one way. So these came to 15.5. 6k and these came to 100k makes it pretty easy so now i know that the brown red blue green brown is 15 and brown black 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 brown is 100 so that pretty much answers all the questions i had about the schematics and now it's just a matter of soldering it all together and wiring it into the system all right i think i've got everything pretty much prepped and laid out the way i need it to be hopefully i can find out which side goes which way on this guy and then I watched a tutorial of someone putting one of these together already and they said to start with the smallest parts first so I'm going to obviously start with the resistors so here we go Okay, so I've wired in one of the LED strips to one of the prongs. I've got some jumper cables set up to the battery, and if everything's working correctly, which it's not, that's a bummer. So something's not, not connected right. Let's see. And it smells like burning, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's shorted out. Just not sure where or how. Probably my shitty solder, but I don't know why. Alright, so that's a bummer. Okay, so I've got all these prepped and ready. I'm going to run them in series instead of in parallel. I think that way it'll be a lot less wire and it'll be easier. So I'm going to run two wires off of the control switches going out of the firewall. Those two wires will come down to the first set of lights and then they'll run through those lights to the next light, to the next light, to the next light. That means series. Parallel would be running four sets of wires out and then a wire going to each light, which is not necessary the way these lights are set up. That's why I put wires on the ends of each. That way I can string them together like Christmas lights. I also picked up some of these plastic retainers, some self-tapping screws, 
a good wire stripper because I'm tired of burning my fingertips off of the lighter. Also got some silicone here so I can seal the ends and also kind of use it as glue in case there's any areas where the stuff doesn't stick too well because I'm really not expecting this double-sided backing to stick to the bottom of the car that well. So I'm going to use those guys to hold it into place. This to kind of re-secure it along the way so it doesn't droop and it's going to be kind of difficult to get under there so I'm just going to show where they're going to be. I'm going to put the sides right inside of this lip here so that if I ever jack the car up or put it on jack stands they won't be crushed and that way it's to the furthest out edge of the car so that it'll illuminate the most area. Around here on the back I plan on running it as far back as I can here against this edge so it's as far away from the exhaust as possible and tucked up in there as well. Same thing on this side right inside the lift lip. In the front I plan on running it right inside of this this lip right here all along here so it shines down in front of the grill and the radiator i'm going to get to work on that it's going to be kind of hard to film so i'm not really going to do a lot of filming on that process but i'll cut back to it when everything's done all right so i got the lights installed i also got the switches installed I put them here, probably going to end up changing them because my elbow kind of gets in the way. I contemplated putting them here and then maybe here, which I think is going to end up being the spot for them. Just have like a, with a bunch of different switches. So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. It's got a switch for on and off. I've got the toggle switch to switch between breathe mode and constant on. The breathe mode module is on its way. I promise I'll do an update video showing that once it's installed. But this switch will go back and forth between breathe and solid. And this one makes it come on constant. Since I have the iPad hooked up to the accessory on, the radio constant on wire wasn't being used. And so that it still has a fuse running everything, I used the constant on wire to go to the power switch. The power switch goes to the second switch, and then the second switch goes out to the LEDs. As you can see here, they're nice and bright. For attaching it to the bottom, I used a couple of plastic kind of bendy screw holders like the loop but I also had a problem with the adhesive on the LEDs was just horrible tacky crap it wouldn't stick to anything even though I cleaned the bottom of the car really well with some acetone so that it would stick it still the stuff just wouldn't stick it was horribly horribly crap so I tried using super glue that worked in a couple of places but again it was still really dirty and what you might not be aware of is that hot glue comes in probably about 15 different types of sticks there's stuff for wood there's stuff for temporary, there's stuff for fabric, there's stuff for foam. Well, I have some high temp stuff that's supposedly like a work adhesive where you can bond two pieces together so that you can drill them or cut them or whatever. So I use that. It's kind of like a clear silicone, so it actually bonded the stuff together really, really well, even where it was dirty or oily and it wouldn't stick with anything else so i highly recommend you look into getting a hot glue gun with some high temp industrial strength hot glue it works great i will definitely be using it again if i have to install anything like this but i'm real impressed with the leds the coverage i had it out last night at the car meets it was very bright even in a well-lit parking lot it really illuminated it around the car and underneath it next is going to be to install the black light kit that i got because i got some black light leds as well i'm going to put a couple of strips like a strip here and a strip on the other side under the footwell. I also put one of the black light LEDs into the cup holder light so that when the headlights are on this illuminates unless my phone's there and then it just kind of glows. But it illuminates the inside of the car but very subtly so I really like that. So I'm going to be probably moving the switches over to here. I'm going to put another switch here or maybe even wire it into the existing panel light. So this switch will control the footwell lights and then that way they'll also come on when the doors are open and when you close them again, they'll shut off. And then I have to install the push to start, which I'm gonna put those switches here, I believe. And then I'm gonna remove this completely and put the push button here. So there'll be no key whatsoever. There'll be a combination of switches so you'll have to know how to start it, otherwise you won't be able to start it. Look for that in another video coming soon. Click the like button if you liked subscribe if you want and as always thanks for watching and keep modding on a side note brian's mobile one got his license plate package in the mail 
he shouted me out in his video. I'm gonna include the footage here right after this so that you can see how it looked. Otherwise, go to his channel, watch his videos, check him out. He's a really cool guy, he does a lot of cool stuff. Like and subscribe to him. Thanks for watching. This one comes from Wayne's Work Vlog, and that's from Colorado Springs, Colorado. They know everything in Colorado Springs. Got a Colorado plate, super clean looking. Got a letter, ooh, a collector video, collector vehicle plate from Colorado. An Oklahoma plate. This is the updated one, and then uh, Alabama plate. Awesome, thanks Wayne. So for Wayne's Work Vlog, it says, Brian Wayne from YouTube.com, Wayne's Work Vlog. Love the channel. You always have such a positive attitude and always reply to comments. I learned quite a bit from your channel. Keep up the good work. Saw you still needed a couple of states and threw in some Colorado because I have a stack of them. Would appreciate a shout out because my channel could definitely use it. Thanks again for always replying. Means a lot. Thanks, Wayne. So, you guys know what to do. Go show Wayne's Work Vlog some love. Just uh, type that in on the search bar for YouTube and uh, get in there. So awesome, thanks Wayne, I really appreciate your, uh, <laughs> he went for it, him and Aaron. Man, Aaron and Wayne really went for it on this one. Pretty impressive.